Hey, this is Nikki with ChristianMommyBlogger.com, and I'm just here to show you um, a little bit about how I use my Kindle app. Um, I'm actually on my iPad, so and my phone is upstairs, so this is how I'm recording. Um, I just wanted to let you know a few little things. Um, you have the device, and you have the cloud. Now, in mine, they're the same because everything on my device has been sent through the cloud, and that means I have emailed it to... Um, to Nikki Hughes 4 at Kindle.com. It goes through the cloud, through Amazon, onto my device. Now, what, one thing that people complain about is that if you don't have an actual Kindle, if you're using an iPad like I am, or an iPhone, um, that you may not be able to um, uh, organize these very well. Um, apps like Kobo are very user-friendly, and you can have different bookshelves for different topics. That makes it really nice, but um, if you like using Kindle so that it's all connected and you can use the email feature here, then you're going to need to just adapt. So basically, if you, if you download something directly to your device, it will show up on this device tab. It will not show up on the cloud tab. That means it's only available on your iPad. It's not available anywhere else. It's not even available on Kindle, um, on Kindle.com kindle.amazon.com. So what I like to do is, following the previous video that I've uploaded, um, I like to email it through this kindle.com email address to Kindle so that it goes into my cloud and then I can go into my my iPad and I can load the cloud, click on device and it will automatically put everything into my device. Now if I have, you know, six or seven books, it's not a big deal. If I have a hundred books, it might be overwhelming. So what you can do is delete them from your device. So I can hold this, say remove from device. Um, remove from device. Now they're still on my cloud, so I can still pull those back um, by clicking this arrow download. You'll see that it's loading. Now I go over and it's back here. So what you can do is is load everything onto your cloud and then pick and choose <coughs> what you want on your device. That way you're not trying to sort through all of your stuff um, in, in, in an inconvenient way. So that's my biggest tip for using the Kindle on an iPad. Um, now I could go to my iPhone, launch my Kindle app, and um, and then and then look at the cloud setting and be able to pick up. I also wanted to show you one other thing. If you're new to using Kindle, what's really great is you scroll through your pictures. So say you're reading a book. We'll go here because that's he's and he's so cute. Um, so you can read a page and then you're distracted. So you want to go up here. I'm going to go up here and click this bookmark button. That'll bookmark it. Now when you can close the app or you can go to another book, whatever you want to do, it'll tell you I'm 13% of the way through the book. Um, and then if I go to my other device, like an iPhone, and I open the same thing through my cloud, it'll still have the same bookmark. and It'll open it up to that page. So no matter what device I'm on, including my computer, they launch this book, it will save that same spot. And that's a huge perk because if you're like me and you have tons of different tech, tech, advice, uh, tech devices and you're always just reading whenever you can and you pick it up um, five minutes here, five minutes there, well, if you don't have this book on this device, you might go, oh, I don't know where I was. So it's just so easy to just bookmark it, open up whatever book wherever you want on any device. It makes it really easy. So just a little refresher, go back to your home device and just, you can either launch the book to read it or remove from device if you don't want to be distracted by books that you don't want to read. So again, they're here, bring them back by download, download, whatever you want. All right, that's it for my tips on how to manage your Kindle on your iPad or whatever smart device you're using. Thanks for uh, checking out Christian Mommy Blogger.